In a studio that's in a basement comes the epic story of how two friends changed the future of the movie podcast game forever. The reviews are in. Boys Life Magazine gives the High Psy Podcast four and a half acorns. The Daily Bugle says, these guys are super legit. And Pope Francis declares the podcast as life affirming. From the kid who tried to get smart with David Spade and got fucking old. You're still out. You're still back. And the guy who can name all four Baldwin brothers. Alec, William, Daniel, and the baby boy, Stephen. Live from the studio of his parents' basement. The Have You Seen It Podcast. Oh, check her phone. <laughs> Welcome back to the Have You Seen It Podcast. Uh, my name is Mason Knight. Sitting across from me is the one and only Cash Krause. Guys, if you haven't yet, please go check out our social media pages. Instagram, Have You Seen It Podcast. Facebook, Have You Seen It Podcast. You know, you guys know the deal. You guys can check out our merch store, too. We do now have that available. Uh, we got a couple cool designs oh, on there and whatnot. A, a sip. Oh, there it is. Oh, here, let me get you on camera. There it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. That tasty. Oh, that's good. Is that, is that is Oh, that, that tastes high quality that H2O? That tastes refreshing. <laughs> For some reason, the liquid tastes better. When, when it's out of when the I'm have you seen it When I'm drinking out of the, the yes. handmade, <laughs> have you seen it, 100% wow. ceramic and made in China. Well, so course. they only do quality. They only do quality they only do in quality China. In China. Absolutely. China. We know that. Absolutely. It's where Trump's gets all his ties made. That is. So, you know. <laughs> Chinese you know, but made, yeah, beautiful, American proud. A beautiful mug. A yes. beautiful have you seen a mug. And you're wearing a beautiful, I am. a beautiful uh, sweatshirt. I, am. I see there. Shameless plug, shameless marketing right yep. there. But yeah, we yeah. got the, uh, the old traditional, you know. 1920s, 30s, uh, werewolf. Looks good. And believe it or not, there's actually no liquid in that. That there was acting. Not. That was one hundred percent acting. Perfect. I I'm not say I deserve an Oscar, <laughs> but let's start the talks. Well, we can we can always talk. Can we, you, can, yeah. you can have an Oscars or friends. Talking doesn't hurt anyone, right all right. But uh yeah, we uh yeah, so if you haven't already, check out our uh, our merch store. We've been recently getting things in, so we're kinda yeah, excited we have. about it. Yeah. But uh yeah, check that out. Today is our uh India Cinema. Yes, Indian Cinema Wednesday. Still have not switched the you know, title. I do have to say, though, people are starting to comment, and they're <laughs> they're good. picking the name themselves, and they're saying, no, it's Namaste Wednesday. It's Namaste. I think we should just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do Namaste it. Namaste Wednesday. Namaste Wednesday. Has nothing really to do with movies, but hey, whatever. No. It's a greeting. It does. Uh, it is so, a greeting. It so, is a greeting. But uh, but uh, yeah, so let's let's start doing Namaste Wednesday. Namaste I Wednesday. like it. It kind of like puts me too. at ease, too, yeah. when I say it. But uh, Namaste Wednesday. I feel like maybe I should do a little uh, little Namaste culture. Wednesday. Namaste Wednesday. Yes. But uh, yeah, today we are doing um, one of the picks from our our polls. Yeah, and uh, we do have to apologize too. We were a little behind on this. Uh, we had to reschedule a few things. Yeah, we have to. Uh, well, I had to have a COVID a test. Bit. Yeah, you had to have a COVID test too. That was pretty crazy. Yeah. Uh, come to find out, you were quarantined for three weeks, armed guard at your room. Was I was positive for it? Yep. Still am. Right. The virus is oh, still well, 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 oh, But yeah. again, we're. Six I was supposed feet to apart. tell you. I was oh, we're still that. following. I was supposed science, to tell you so. that before. Oh right. Yeah, yeah I, I was supposed to tell you that before. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't care. You got nothing to live. I got you got nothing to live for at all at this point. You have two beautiful puppies out course. there. You don't yeah. want your puppies getting COVID. No. Remember that tiger in Brooklyn Zoo who got, got it? the COVID? What happened to him? I don't know. There, is he alive? The worst reporting of all time. We never found out what we happened only to Benny the that tiger. He, that he had. And then I, I got the video and he had like a little sneeze, a little tiger <laughs> sneeze. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, he's in trouble. <laughs> it's not good. Turns out tigers, they don't not supposed no. to sneeze. Not that no, regularly. But uh, yeah, I hope he's fighting okay. Yeah, I hope he's I hope doing he's all right. His we life, have his best life. He was he's like, still alive. He was like ground zero. He, he was, was ground the zero first. for the Tigers. We we're like, fuck, Tigers can get this thing? Yeah, oh, when boy. Tigers could get it, you know, it's serious. It's a problem. But, uh, yeah, today we are reviewing uh, Vikram Vadha. Yeah. Like you said, it's been a while. It but uh, So we're taking it off our poll. But for, we get, before we get into it, we got to talk about what we are adding right. into our poll. As it sits right now, we have Bavesh Joshi Superhero. Yes. We have cargo. Yes. 
We have ghoul. Ghoul, yes. Now, what is the fourth we will be adding? The first, or the fourth we are adding is Alagar. Yes, which and we just recently did a reaction for. We did, and it looked yeah. uh, it looked pretty it good. Looked really good. Yeah, it looks it's really good. Got Raj Kumar, Ryo. That's the big draw. It is a That's draw for the us. Hook. That's the uh, He's probably top three. We top were going to do a favorite. different Raj Kumar um, a movie. We were. But it wasn't out yet. It's so not out like, till well, January. We just got to replace it with a different one. Yeah. Because we gotta have a, we gotta have at least um, one one uh, what's the director we love a lot? Uh, on your Kashyap. We gotta have at least one on your uh, or at least Raj Kumar or one uh, what's the other Nawazun part? Sadiq. Yeah, or we have to have a Nawazun somewhere. <laughs> one of those there. three have to be constantly in the polls. Yes. So uh, we picked Raj Kumar. So it's let's go over them again: Algar, Cargo, Ghoul. Bavesh, Josh, Josh superhero. superhero, yeah, yeah. Which, dude, I really want to see that one. I know. I'm not gonna I, lie, and I don't want to be biased. Isn't that there, one that has something to do with nepotism, though? Wasn't I? Could sworn. I feel like that's a common theme uh, these yeah, days. So the more much. we get into like Indian cinema, everyone's like every film is nepotism. Yeah. So I like, really don't know why people will choose to see some of them, but right. if, if every single film is just filled with the director's kids, <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> we can't. Point, you got to be like, yeah, come on, do something else. But uh, yeah, I, I can't. That one looked really good. Well, that's an Anya Radha shop uh, produced film, I believe. That's right. Yeah. He produces a lot of he films, does, though. a ton of films in India, which is right. awesome because he helps out a lot of small films mm-hmm. being made. But uh, yeah, I don't know. So, which one do you think is going to win? Which this one week? do? Okay, so I'll be you're, honest. If you're here, a betting man, the one the one I want to win is Bavesh Joshi superhero. But I think the one that might win is um, maybe Cargo. It's really, the it's the newest out of all of them. Yeah, but we did get some uh, I, I, some kind of back and forth on it. Some people said it wasn't good at all. Some people did say I it know, was good. that was odd too. Yeah, but I think sometimes we do disagree with those, mm-hmm. just because maybe it's a little deeper and more philosophical, and maybe you know yeah. more open ended. So sometimes people don't like that in India. But well, I wanted, I want Ghoul. I want mm. Ghoul to win in October. Yeah, <laughs> but I know. And was, now we're sitting in November. November. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I wanted Ghoul really bad, even though it's it's not even really a, a movie. It's like a mini series, yeah, but uh, it's still shorter than most Indian films. And there's controversy surrounding Ghoul too. Something about anti something. I don't I don't remember. <laughs> but there's a lot of controversy in India. Oh, it was. I think it was yeah. anti. Uh, it was anti one of the many religions. In, yes, but I can't. I can't. Oh, it's anti Hindu. I'm pretty sure they said. Was That's it? right. Yep. Well, isn't it all Hindu people in it? But it probably has some like I don't know black magic or something. I'm assuming or like yeah. ghouls, like demonic spirits. So they probably just you know take offense to that. Well, I didn't. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if Hindus. I, mean, I, don't, I know I Muslims don't. It. I know Muslims don't like uh, like any black magic no. or anything. <laughs> Absolutely well, not. Or right. evangelicals don't either. I well, mean, they I, try to take <laughs> Harry Potter out of the schools here. So. <laughs> A kid so I guess friendly it's any book. kind of it religion kind of, yeah. really doesn't like black magic, but uh, can't really get away with that though in the, the states. No, I think too many people are just like, okay, shut up. We're well, there was them. schools that I think removed it. Harry Potter. Oh yeah, yes. Yeah, so. But there, there are schools that re- remove all sorts of books. Yeah, I mean even the even the ones we used to read as a kid, you don't find those books anymore. Well, not uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. No, those have been sure. waged war. wiped out. <laughs> Why to be out fair, it's probably scarred more kids than they did good. Probably. <laughs> probably yeah, yeah, but uh, all right, let's get into it. Vikram Vadha. I got I to gotta tell you first, mm-hmm. before you get into it, yeah. before you get, I got to tell you the story oh, okay. of my Vikram Vadha experience. Fantastic. Let's hear it. So I, uh, it's, so I woke up early this morning to watch it because I was too tired last night. I was falling asleep. So I woke up real early this watch. I'm like, all right, going to get this done. Going to watch Vikram Vadha. I'm excited about it. I cannot remember where to find it at to watch oh, it. No. So I go to Amazon because I'm thinking I'll just rent it from Amazon. Mm-hmm. And you know Amazon. Well, you, have, you have the Hotstar account, right? No. I didn't give you the password No, for you it? didn't give me the oh, password. Well, I'll, give it, I'll give it to yeah. you because it's a... But anyways, I, so I, I was just going to rent it. That's, I knew it was like $2.99 or mm-hmm. something, so not that big of a deal. But uh, I go to rent it, or, or I go just to Amazon... And everyone, or I know, I talk about morning. Amazon worst user interface in the fucking world. I can't stand it. So I type in Vikram Rahad, and something pops up immediately, and it says Prime, like it's already on Prime. Mm-hmm. So and it, Amazon doesn't show you the titles; it just shows you the thumbnail, and the thumbnail looks just like the Vikram Rahad thumbnail. But it's Vikram Vrdra or whatever. Yes, yeah. It's some, oh no! So 
I watch it for shit you not 40 to 50 minutes. And I'm watching it and it starts oh out fucking God. it's I, it starts out awesome. It starts out with like these guys running in and to this house like this gang and just murdering everyone in the house. That sounds yeah. fun. It looks fucking awesome. Fun. And the 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 fighting looks really cool. They have those really old like flintlock yeah, bits, yep. but they're brutal, you know, and mm-hmm. it looks re- really realistic. So I'm like, yeah, dude, this movie's going to be fucking awesome. It's about cops. There's a cop involved at one point. So I'm thinking that's Vikram Rahad, right? Uh-huh. That was what Vikram Rahad was about. Then after that 15-minute intro, it gets into 30 minutes and turns into like a rom-com. Yeah, it's like, it's like one of the what co- a weird transition. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like one of the cops is like he's like falling in love, and it's got like that really slapstick comic music and stuff like that. The whoop, whoop, yeah, whoop, and then there's whoop, a guy, whoop. and he's like trying to teach someone about like he's trying to like help her pass her exams or something like that. It's his sister or oh something, and it goes on for forty minutes. This like rom coms, and I'm like, what the fuck am I watching <laughs> now? Go back, not the movie at all, completely. So I watched 40 minutes of nonsense, essentially. <laughs> well, I wish I could remember. I, I think it is that movie you just said, but yeah. I wish I could remember because the first 15 minutes was fucking awesome. <laughs> but then it was like 30 minutes of a of a rom-com and I fucking hated it. That's so funny. So eventually I was just going to stop watching it. I, was gonna, so that, I still thought yeah. at this point he was Vic and Rod. So I'm like, fuck this. I'm not watching this. I get back. Completely different movie. Finally watched the real fucking movie. Not not that at all. No. So if you're going to find Vikram Vahad on Amazon Prime, don't even look for it. Because you'll type in the movie, and it even typed in Vikram Vahad. Immediately, I typed in Vikram, and Vikram Vahad was the first thing that popped yeah. up. But then it was the wrong fucking movie. I don't understand Amazon. It's like I some don't get it either. The user interface was like programmed by some guy in 2003, and they have not changed the entire thing for fucking years. Mm-hmm. The richest company in the world. The company that has all the power, all the money, all the assets cannot improve their fucking user interface. I don't understand it. Where's that money going, Jeff Bezos? And I know you're fucking listening. Probably in his own bank account. <laughs> he's probably like, well, you he's know, not I just like to any, save. He's not I just like to save. I'm a big saver. I'm a big saver. I'm a I just like to reinvest saver. into my own yeah. company and my own stock. <laughs> you know? what, invest in yourself is what they say. That's what they say. Even if you not got into your own dollars. company, not into your own company, <laughs> invest that money right back oh. in yourself. So I watched for 40 minutes the wrong movie. Yeah. That's brutal. But That's I was. Suck. It did suck. Yeah. It was kind of a downer. But I was pretty pretty pleased when I actually watched Vic and Rod and realized mm-hmm. there wasn't a forty minute. And I don't know. I ended at forty minutes. Right. It could have gone on for two hours. Yeah, probably rom-com. most likely in India, it was probably a two hour and forty minute yeah. rom com. I know they were right about to get into song and dance. Um, right, I could yep. see them kind of warming yep. up and kind of <laughs> yeah. getting like stretching a little bit. The you waiters the were like clearing the tables <laughs> and like they were moving shit out of the way. So I'm like, I gotta end it. Now. now, although I had to do is say Vikram Vahad, the real one, does have a musical. It does have a, it does have a dance number. It yes, have- it does. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just want to tell you my, my that's a hell of a story. And that's really it. funny. Yeah. And this is why we have places like Hot Star and Euros now. Yeah. for our podcast, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, it was a <laughs> it was a big ordeal. But uh, did you end up renting that too? No, it? fuck okay, no. It was, was well, that's why I was, was all suck. pumped. I'm like, oh my yeah. God, it's free. It's the first thing that popped up. Did you have up. to rent Vikram Badha? I did have to rent Vikram Rod on YouTube, too. I, I, you know I don't like yeah, doing I, those I, fuckers no. from YouTube money. Dude, no shout way. out to our YouTube followers. Though. Yeah, shout out. Thanks yeah, we love you followers, but uh, YouTube, you guys censor the fuck out of it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but I really, yeah, so I did have to watch it on YouTube. But yeah, uh, but yeah. What, did, uh, what did you end up thinking about it? Um, very surprised. And I actually really enjoyed this film. Oh, really? Overall. Yeah. yeah. I actually did. I enjoyed the three story sequences. And the whole time I was trying to figure out who who was behind it. And it actually threw me for a little bit of a loop. I did not expect it because it wasn't blatantly right in your face the whole time. Yeah. You know, I mean, there were little subtle, I guess, hints that you could look at throughout the film. And, and how uh, Vikram had a very black and white view on criminals and how like he he was kind of criminal himself he was though. oh absolutely that was like kind of weird like even when you read the synopsis he's like uh a play by the book <laughs> it's like no. hard nose not at all he's immediately by framing the people right the yeah. first scene he is framing people mm-hmm. well and then you know it's so normally not a good odd. judge of character is when you're <laughs> like uh i'll look in your eyeball see if you're a criminal yeah i think you're a criminal yeah i know i was like what 
that that's literally taking the law into your own hands. So I don't know if it was so. Yeah, and somehow uh, black and white, India but. that I cannot get over is I just feel like their detectives are a little too casual in the dress code area. I think so. <laughs> yeah, I should at least be able to distinguish when a guy is on the job <laughs> and when he's just walking around, yeah. exactly. walking around flip flops, and I just need I need a badge or something. Yeah, give me something that shows you that I completely because, but I think they kind of thrive on that because the. the Detectives are doing whatever the hell they... And we've seen it in every Indian movie. We have. <laughs> the detectives really... I don't Look, think there's a rule book. Rain. They have full reign to do whatever, whenever they want. They are the god. They're the judge, the executioner. They do it all. It all. Yep, they're it like is. Judge Dredd. Well, yeah. They're well, arresting about, people, I, but immediately I, I, giving punishment. I forget the film, uh, the one where they're locking up all of them. But remember, they, they sent them out. To go get some meat, they and then they re-arrested them. Truman Show <laughs> yeah. Then they re-arrested them. So what was it? Like, that was the last film we just did. I know, and I it was I, actually good. It was a great film. I can't remember either. Uh, yeah, but, uh, slips my mind right now. Yeah, I love the thing about this film is I loved the performances. Mm-hmm. I thought Vikram and Vahad both did a really, really good job. I thought one thing they could have proved on is I think it was a little convoluted in just how many characters were involved in the story. And that was, that is something I would have to agree And with. it kind of seems like a common theme in India where they just like every character in the film, no matter like what small role they play, has like an entire story arc. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like they all have like this huge... Like Simon, the 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 cop, the cop like, who had the child that was yeah, ill. Yeah, I mean, like everyone. And and uh, what was the brother's name? Pooley. Yeah, Pooley. Yeah, that was really fucking confusing. I thought, and that was a long and that was confusing line too. Yeah, and he, he had like a sister wife. I don't. What it was, was his that? wife? It was his wife well, but, or girlfriend. I think girlfriend. I don't even think they were married. But then they kept calling them Chandra. Like, yeah, yeah, and Pooley had a different name. But yes, they called did. him Pooley because it was name because he was yeah. good at arithmetic. He was. So that's just it was. I at some during times and maybe it's because you know maybe if you're Indian it's a little easier to follow. But I thought I was confused at times. I thought there was just so many characters being added. But that's that's. I mean, look at any movie. There's not usually you have one or two main characters, or and then you have these small side characters coming in. But those side characters don't have entire story arcs. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not learning from their past and whatnot. But every character in this film, I felt like, had a long, like, bridging story arc that had to be like di- divulged. Right. And I think, I think that goes to, and I do agree with you absolutely. There's that so, these many, side characters so many, so many, and, and so very many long cast in yeah. the in this. But right. I think the way the film's set up, when they when when you break it down, when when Vadha is talking about the three separate stories, I feel like the writers felt like they had to give you so much detail on these side characters because this when they could have in in they could have just showed you their stories within those three mini stories that Vadha tells Vikram. You get what I'm saying? Like those three stories, the one with Puli. Yeah. And then what would you do in this situation? Yeah. And then with the sister, she steals the money. And he's like, well, what do I do? What would you do in this situation? Kill her like the the gang leader wants you to or start a gang war and yeah. take her side? It ended up being a ton of like twists and turns, even yeah. to where like. Uh, well, I was confused as all hell. And yeah. then I'm like, oh, shit, the cops. Even to where like Vadhad was tricking Poli at some point <laughs> yeah. to like come back. Uh-huh. There's so many. There like, was a lot everyone of was working. Everyone, yeah. And it's like one of the one few thing. Indian films I thought maybe even could have gone on a little longer. Longer, yeah. I could have even gotten more. And this film was what two hours and forty minutes, as it was. Yeah, it was pretty long yeah. already. I felt like, but it's, but uh, yeah, I was I really used another fifteen. Yeah, same. Because <laughs> even at the end, it kind of another complaint of mine is at the end, it feels like they really had to like wrap it, wrap up, it up quickly. Well, in the warehouse too, the abandoned warehouse. Yeah. They catch Davi or Ravi. Yeah, they got to get Ravi know. in there. And then Ravi's got to kind of confess, do his uh, bad guy monologue, which takes entirely too long. And then and then it kind of becomes like a buddy cop, <laughs> like a book, of, does, which yeah. I did not love. I didn't like the because the entire time the seemed either. it seemed dark and kind of grounded and mm-hmm. whatnot. But then at the end, they're just walking around. They're laughing. No they're one can hit time. them. They're, but they're shooting. And even like. And none of the bad guys have every opportunity to kill him. They do. And they never could do it. Even well, one guy gets a jump on Vadhad, and Mayor Vahad is just laughing. <laughs> and then fucking Vikram from 
miles away, shoots him, and he guy flips the gun up, and Vahad catches the gun, pops up, and starts shooting. Yeah. And it's like there's so many times when a bad guy got a jump on the good guys mm-hmm. and just and shot him and just shot all around. Right. Just a silhouette. Another thing I didn't like about those ending action scenes either was the fact that they subdued every villain cop with one shot, with to, one the arm. shot to the leg, to the yeah. arm, you know, to the finger, and you're like, "Come on, this isn't real." But but then he blasts the the chief. Well, yeah, <laughs> because he guys. says he's like, "I thought I should kill the ex. But I'm like, oh, "This guy is such not a fucking super cop <laughs> that he can that, that he can just." Precisely wing every single one in a shootout <laughs> while you're getting shot at. You, I mean, do you think anyone is taking the time to like? All right, got to get the arm on this yeah. one. <laughs> Why bullets are flying past your head? It seems seems unfortunately and unrealistic, and it, it's that kind of sucked because the entire movie was, although maybe a little over the top during the fight scenes, and again, way too much slow motion. They do Just, love slow motion, hey, dude. Hey. In India, Holy. they love slow This movie would have been, ha- you would have been able to cut half an hour and then <laughs> added in those story months that you need if you just cut down that slow motion. Yeah. Slow motion in every fucking action scene. And not even every action scene. Sometimes they're just walking. And it's slow. And it's slow mo. <laughs> well, they'll be walking into a door. Yes. Or, and it's or just down the road with their groceries. Or just down the stairs. <laughs> you know. <laughs> just walking. I'm just like, uh, okay, do we need slow mo here? Yeah, is it really necessary? Just like picking up a tomato to observe it at the grocery store and it's in slow mo and he's like, I'll purchase Yeah, this. I know. And the the guy handing giving him his change. That's in slow mo and the change falling <laughs> from his hands. <laughs> as it, it's his hand. <laughs> One's just like twisting before Lady it falls. in the background just No <laughs> Hurry up. I got shit to I do. gotta go. <laughs> yeah, that I felt just too much and yeah. too much uh edits like camera cuts you know a lot of camera cuts i don't Mm -hmm. i don't under that kind of just takes away um the value of a film to me when you have like those actiony cut 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 cut. like there's one scene when uh it's right after uh vikram you know uh kind of frames everyone and like one of the kids on his crew or whatever remember he's like really upset about it yeah and then he like kind of grabs the kid, but it's like ninety different cuts. Why this is all happening? And it's like it's just sometimes the right thing to do is just let it happen on camera and just let it keep rolling. Right. You know, you don't need thirty different camera you angles for. No. Eat, and then I get it during a fight scene. Mm-hmm. You know, you need all those cuts because you got to piece it together. But during a dramatic, actually- sad scene when he's just holding the kid, you don't need it. Like they're about to break out into a choreographed uh, fight. So I thought that one thing is just the editing was uh, the guy was a little overzealous in the editing <laughs> room. He's like, cut, 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 I got to get my money's worth. They're paying me per cut. They are paying <laughs> me, and uh, I got to run this thing up to 200 hours yeah, so I can exactly. get paid a I gotta nice get paid, yeah. bonus. So uh, I don't know what's happening in the editing room uh, over in India, but it's sometimes. But then I well, like. That's, that's kind of the thing. But like, then other films like Ship of Theseus, you uh-huh. know. Very little cuts. Yeah. They let it all play out on on, and I like that a lot, a lot more. As do, well, I always, think most people do, and it always just makes me feel like it's an '80s action film with like the too many cuts. That's always what it, and that, it devolves into. And it, it being completely transparent, I think that is where India lacks sometimes in their film is they do kind of, as you just brought up, they kind of have that '80s style of editing where it's like we enjoy the longer takes, the yeah, you know, because then we're able to. Uh, kind of it uh what's the word i'm looking for um i guess you're just able to soak it in yeah more, soak you it know? in yeah I was, that's the word i was looking kind of just absorb in, it more yeah, yeah and kind of uh yeah and just kind of enjoy the scene enjoy what's taking place but every mm. time i feel like a cut i feel like i almost have to like restart emotionally yeah, exactly <laughs> like every time i feel like a cut because i feel like it's a new scene every time you're cutting but if you just let that scene and, and it, depending what scene it is, but if you let some beautiful scene just take place and just let it roll, then it feels much more natural, you know, and it feels like you're letting the actors kind of just, uh, just do their own thing, you know, fill out the scene, whether than cut, pause, reset right. everything. Yeah. I mean, like, okay, remember where you held him, you were holding him here and he was crying now. Okay. Now action. Okay. Now we got to stop again, cut, reset. 
Because every time you cut, you have to reset. Yeah. You know? So it's uh... And again, action scenes are one thing, but to bring up Ship of Theseus, you know, that one scene where they're walking down the road, and it's like a five-minute take of them just talking and walking. Yeah. that Those are the kind of shots I love. I feel like in this you scene, know? you would have had fucking... Boop, 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 eight. <laughs> yeah. From eight different angles. It's yeah. like you don't need that sometimes. Up angle, downward, uh, fucking zoom. Sideways shot. camera. Yeah. Why, why do we have this? Yeah, I don't... But uh, yeah, that that's my biggest complaint, which is... It's just so weird because that's such an easy thing to get to fix, you know. Mm-hmm. It's got really nothing to do with, like, the story and whatnot, but it's more of the te- technical aspect. Yeah. But, you know, it takes you out of it. It does. One of my favorite scenes is when, uh, is when uh, I think it's the second story Ved Ha is talking about. He's trying to talk about how he got into power and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And how he got into power was this big genius um, villain move. He just started using guns. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> it wasn't amazing. I love it even, even the show a news and they're like a twist today in the gang war. Violence has or no <laughs> gun violence has entered the fray. <laughs> and he's just going around popping people in the back of, and no one can do anything. No. No one can fucking it's like stop a deer this. In headlights. Well, what do well, we do? Holy now? shit, they got these fucking new weapons that uh Throw lead. Very, we can't Very do fast. it. Yeah, we. Can. And I love at one point it's almost comical. He's shooting someone, and he like picks up a knife and kind of looks at it, and he throws, throws it, it away. Nonchalant. Knife days are over. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was a big reveal. That's all you need to take over the gangster underworld in India was just, just a couple who, guns. Who would have thought the genius who came I up know, with that for real? <laughs> Give that man a noble piece. Yeah, price. it's so funny. Very funny, yeah. but. uh I like how they just let him out on bail the first time they caught him. Well, they well, did. This guy, they've been he hunting. Murdered 16 people. <laughs> been hunting. They been, The cops have been hunting him for what? Don't, don't say he's, they've been hunting him for a super fucking long time. Oh, yeah, and they long could time. not have been they able. Couldn't, they couldn't catch him. He turns himself in and they're like, yeah, he's out on bail. And then he hires Vidal's wife. Well, that was before. Be his lawyer. Yeah. yeah. What was, I thought that was kind of, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know, know how it works, do really, but it yeah. seems kind of stupid to me. It seems like a conflict of interest. It does. And it the does. wife, like, doesn't help the husband at all? No. <laughs> I mean, would you, though? I mean, if you're a lawyer and you're representing someone, your whole job and career and your... Uh... Well, I would because you would never be in that situation. Well, never. No, not in <laughs> real life. You would not. Ever but, I mean, be. if that situation did arise, I mean, you're talking about your entire career. Flush down the toilet if you gave him information illegally. Yeah, but you got to think your your husband who you're telling is a cop who has immense amount of power. I mean, just well, more you know. power, more power than anyone walking around. I assume he's able to do anything. So I got to yeah. feel that maybe this guy is probably not going to turn in his own wife. Probably not for giving. I mean, it's that's the thing is you know she could have probably told him. I mean, she probably could have. Who's but checking in on these things? She was a good lawyer. For one, he's murdered 16 people, we got to remember. And I got but a feeling that's a low number. Fed Ha did murder quite a few people as well. Yeah, but... He just was wearing a badge when he did it. And <laughs> but I know she difference. was weighing those... <laughs> right, those yeah. options in her head. Like, he's bad, but you're kind of worse. But, uh, are, yeah. yeah. But I like the scene when he turns himself in, and, they're, and they have, like... They call it in, like, the National Guard. Because remember, they're right about mm-hmm. to go and find him. They got the SWAT going... Everyone's kind of loading their guns and seeing to make sure. And then you have one guy in the background, and he's just working his whipping arm. <laughs> I laughed so hard, like he had to make sure the stick was working. It's like, why is he practicing? I like, don't. Know. All right, the sticks are in. The sticks like, are we're good. good. <laughs> when he gets in, we can torture him. We've got this. And I love it. it's like two guys, and they're just like watching this guy just work like a, a pole as he like he's working all his like. His whipping moves. He's got to warm up. It's important. You don't want to pull it. Because we'll wait. Nova India is it's a whipping. As soon as you get fucking. And Viserani was the film, and they did a lot of whipping in that movie. Yes. Yes. They did like to do you. But I love. I whip. get. I get how you have to kind of before you go on a raid, you got to make sure your gun is you know cleaned and everything. Mm. Do you really got to make sure your stick is in whipping? Like, it's a stick. I'm sure it's gonna whip properly. <laughs> But I just thought that was hilarious. Yeah, was. And then how he turns himself in, and they don't like, you think they would just tackle this fucking guy. They yeah, let him Walton. run through, let him pull out a gun, fucking cock it, and the fact that they didn't just blow this <laughs> fucking, fucking wanted away. criminal way yeah. as soon as he stepped foot. A little. They suspicious. need to go to the U.S. School of Policing. because As soon as that guy even looked like he was reaching for, <laughs> maybe an inhaler. <laughs> 
<laughs> this guy would have sixty rounds. In oh, it. he would have eighty rounds. In. The people would be reloading and then re and then putting another but round. Just to make sure. You have to make sure. I mean, for your for your own safety, you have to make sure. Right? <laughs> the fact that this guy was able to reach in his back, pull, pull out, out a revolver, gun. cock the gun, and, and not still... a single fucking police officer fired. Yeah, I mean that's but incredible. With, exactly, that is incredible. You gotta. It's, yeah. Um, the restraint that these officers were showing uh, in that very heated moment. Yeah, it was very heated. I mean, and after that, he walked through the metal detector, and that thing, no one he was batting an eye. No one. Why do you have metal detectors if you can walk through and no one does anything? When it <laughs> no happens. one stops you. No one even tries. It's just. Oh, uh, I guess they knew they were just going to let him out in three hours they anyway. Did. So I let him go. Uh, he's got good lawyers. They knew that. <laughs> he's got the chief's wife working for him. <laughs> This guy can get a conflict of interest. Can get anyone to be his he lawyer. Can. Yeah, I thought that was kind of price is right. <laughs> so weird. It is. That was kind of bizarre, but uh, well, but, Cash. We do, we yeah, overall, I enjoyed stuff. it though. Yeah. It was it was pretty good. Yeah, you know, I, I liked it overall. It too, wasn't my favorite. It up. wasn't my favorite Indian film that we've done. No, no, so no, I, no, there's no, other no. ones I liked a lot, which was surprising because some people were saying you got to fucking see this film because it's yeah. like. People were saying it's phenomenal, and they're like, it's, it's the best film ever. Like, yeah. you gotta... It was, it was hyped a little too much, I feel like. It was hyped a little too much, but I think also, like, you look at it because there are so many twists and turns that I think the Indian audiences really Love do that. like that. Yeah, I do. They I look, think so, too. Because I was. I, I mean, <clears throat> despite all this film's flaws, which there were, which we pointed out, that is one thing that I actually enjoyed was the fact that I did not know until the very end. And yeah. I thought... You know, they didn't do a perfect job, but I thought they did a pretty good job overall of tying in all the loose ends. Yeah, I thought as, they did a good job. As best as yeah. they can. I mean, with how many fucking storylines there were, and that's, they did a pretty good job. That's the thing, job. too, in India. I think they like a ton of fucking characters. I think they like constantly being introduced to new characters yeah. throughout the film. I just think it, they, which is something that I think Western audiences don't like at no. all. <laughs> I don't want to be introduced the, to a new character when you have 30 minutes left of the film. And exactly. be like, what the fuck? Now this, guy? <laughs> this is John. Now we got to go back to see this guy. Exactly. Yeah. But I think in India, they really, really like that. They, they really enjoy. I mean, it's probably because they have a billion people, and they were like, "We gotta give some we Makes gotta, sense. people. Got, people gotta have jobs, you know. We we gotta build, so we gotta put as many people as we want." But I think, I think that's the big difference is they like like as many fucking people, because yep. I think they like seeing famous people, you know, just people oh, that they, they recognize, it. even if it's a cameo. They yeah, love just it. to recognize. Oh, I know that guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which you know we like too, but just in yeah. smaller portions, much smaller doses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that is our review for Vikram Vidha. If you guys like what you're seeing here and you're watching on YouTube, please be sure to like this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification as we drop videos here every single day. Check out our podcast in audio format, Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play, and Stitcher, social media pages, tweet, Twitter, 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 Seen It Podcast, Instagram, Have You Seen It Podcast, Facebook, Have You Seen It Podcast. Thank you so much for watching and listening. My name is Mason Knight. That is Cash Krause, and until next time. Bye. Thank you.